What is up, Mosques? Today, I have an amazing video for you guys. I'm really happy this happened today. Um, I meant to release this video yesterday. Uh, it just did not happen, unfortunately. But, then there's all my, my stats for you. But, here it is. Level 60 versus level uh, 34, Ice Gauntlet Rapier. So th this video is going to have essentially uh, two small breakdowns. The first video of me killing this guy, um, I'm going to show you what happens and what really... Um, it just shows you how amazing the Ice Gauntlet is if you still don't know how good it is and why you should be using it. This, is, this first one is what happens when you just get annihilated by it. So I'm just going to jump right into it. There's not really much to say. He's just dodging around, hitting him a little bit, thousands here and there. Did that go through? That should have probably went through. Goes through his body. No big deal. It's all good. The game still has a lot of bugs to work out. He does dodge now. So this is real quick. This is a thing to take advantage of whenever you see people with no stamina. Now it's like you can feel confident in your shots. So what happens here? He, uh, he, he just charges at me, hit that quick dodge hit the 180, hit him with the freeze, dodge backwards, but he's in the freeze, he can't move. I drop the blizzard, heavy attack, 1380, 2200, he tries to heal, another 1200, he's dead. But now what's funny is I realize his PvP got enabled. So naturally, you know what we do when we see people with PvP enabled, we start killing the fuck out of them, which brings me to the second video. So this is right after he got up, he charged me or something, something happened, I don't know. So we're back basically in the restart of the duel. This is not a duel anymore, this is what actually happened. So he hit, uh, I should have dodged right here, I was going, I was thinking about pre-dodging, I get gripped, um, I pop the ice block here. So this is really bad, because whenever you're facing a great axe, um, they have the orb, right, the, the Zarya orb, and, um, or Zarya orb. And uh, since I used my block on this, I was like, oh fuck, that's not good. So I, I knock him backwards, he instantly orbs me, which is really, really good, but then I, I freeze him, and I get the swap counter off. So I counter him, hit him with the heavy attack, hit him with the flourish, hit him with the finish, dodge back, fleece through, he blocks the fleece, that's okay. And then I start uh, ice gauntleting him again. So he hits me, so this is unfortunate, I think they need to change this, I think dodges should cancel your heavy attacks, but that'll be way long, like a year from now when they start actually changing really... They're big things, but they're small things, I guess. Anyway, I hit him with this. We trade. He hits me a lot. I dodge back. I start eating food. This is another thing. You should be able to dodge when you eat. So he hits me with this all the way down. Really bad. I dodge out of that shit. I'm getting away. I am scared out of my mind. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm actually going to lose this. Um, the HP is not looking good. He's doing a little tree dodging. I get an actual hit on him right here. This is really good. Um, let's see what happens here. I put that frost down. I dodge his grip put the freeze down, doing a lot of damage. He tries to block. He doesn't realize that doesn't work. He comes all the way around. That's actually huge just to get out of it, which is good. He misses that, which is huge as well, but I would have dodged it anyway. Um, and at this point, he grabs me, and this is actually huge. This is what I said in my very first videos. Everything is reactionary, so you don't want to panic. You don't want to pre-use. I wait for him to actually use his ability, then I pop my ice block. And at that point, he comes in, and then I hit that left click, hit him for a 1200 dead. And that is perfect. And the thing that I really want to highlight outside of this right here, and holding your abilities until you actually need them, and getting that kill, is earlier in the fight, this is why this is so good. And everyone's like, oh, that was just, that was Ice Gauntlet again. No, I literally would have died right here if I didn't have Rapier. I break out of the freeze, he grips me in the orb, I put the freeze down and swap to the Ice, or to the, uh, the Rapier to hit that counter. I counter that attack. And that allows me to live. He would have shit on my life because he had grit right there. And he would have knocked me to the floor. And he would have just one-shot me at that point. But that allows me not only to get a shitload of dam off, but just to start that entire process of really just winning the match. And he gives me the advantage. That right there is why you run Ice Gauntlet and Rapier. Not Rapier Fire Staff. Not Fire Staff Ice Gauntlet. Not anything else. You run Rapier and Ice Gauntlet. That's what it is. If you have any questions, concerns, anything, um, let me know in the comments. I'm always answering comments, so uh, yeah, thank you for watching.